Raekwon is the perfect example of you can be over 40 and still have a rap career. Just like Jay-Z, just like Snoop Dogg, and just like... Just stick to acting, bruh. Just stick to acting. Yo, what up? It's your boy Black with Black TV, where we give you reviews and hip hop news. And today, I'm gonna be doing a review on Raekwon's seventh album, The Wild. Don't forget to hit subscribe to Black TV for more reviews and hip hop news, and hit a like and tell me in the comment section of what you think about this project and what you think about my video. So, let's get started. Raekwon just released his seventh solo album called The Wild, and I was really, really looking forward to this project. As a former member of the Wu-Tang Clan, Raekwon released another album, and my whole thoughts about this album is that this album is for more of hardcore Raekwon fans and old classic hip-hop fans. I mean, this album isn't for everybody, but I appreciate the value of it. So let's go ahead and talk about it. The cover is pretty on point of the whole title, The Wild, like he's sitting in New York style concrete jungle, what it looks like. And I just think the cover is dope. What I really liked about this album is that the production was really on point. Like if you're a Raekwon fan, you already know what type of beats he's gonna go for. The, the old sample type beats or whatever whatnot and it's all throughout this album and i like the fact that he stayed on what he actually knows and the lyricism is there the old classic 90s feel is still there and i give it much value to that my favorite song on this album is number five marvin featuring CeeLo green it talks about the story of marvin gay and his relationship with his father and how the whole fallout of how marvin Marvin Gaye died and how his father killed him. And I was really surprised that, that Raekwon went with this concept because this is a very unique concept but I really wouldn't think anything that Raekwon would come out with this song. I mean, I kind of knew how Marvin Gaye died but with him putting it in a story format like this or whatnot, Raekwon tells, tells it in a perfect form and fashion and I really, really think this song was dope. It's probably gonna go on my playlist. What I disliked about this album is that the skits could have been left out. Like from the intro to the outro, they really could have been left out. Like Bang Head Right skit, like I don't think it was a good transition to the song Marvin because it just really wasn't just talking about anything. Like that's what majority of the skits do on this album is they really wasn't talking about nothing and I don't think it was enough strong enough songs on this album I mean I know Raekwon stuck to what he knows and what he's used to but to go for that mainstream market I really didn't hear any songs I mean like he has that song Purple Brick Road and I really didn't think that was a commercial song that he was going for. The first half of this album, it sounded like a true old school Raekwon. And the second half sounded like something he was trying to trying to do a couple of things new. I just wish that the first half of the album sounded just like the sec second half of the album. And that would have been a, a great compilation of what he does best. My worst song on this is number 13, Crown of Thrones. I'm not saying it's a bad song for Raekwon, but it just, to me, to me personally, I don't think the production on this particular song didn't sound too great. I didn't, I think his vocals wasn't clear enough or it had a lot of clarity in it. I just think that his vocals could have been fixed up a little bit more, a tad bit more. And if you listen to this song on certain systems, it's not gonna sound as great. But let me go ahead and rate Raekwon's The Wild Album. I'm gonna give this album a six out of 10. It's, like I said before in the beginning of this video, if you're a Raekwon fan, if you're a Wu-Tang fan, and if you like classic hip hop, this album is for you. But I don't think 
the newer generation of fans is gonna really appreciate it. And if they do, they're not gonna listen to this album no more than like two, three weeks. But it's a it's a good album. I'm not gonna knock it. I don't I didn't hear anything really bad about it, but nothing really just standed out to wow me. So I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. So what do you think of Raekwon's The Wild? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think Raekwon needs to retire? Do you think Wu-Tang need to come out with another album? Please leave in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and follow me on social media. And until next time on Black TV, I'll holla beat on Black TV. Yeah.